What's going on everybody? It's Pokey Soup and today I'm bringing you another type of Japanese cube and these are made here in the US and right in front of us we have uh, the business card for the person who's been making them. Kyoto Magikarp. You can find his eBay information and Instagram right there. He included his business card. So this cube was uh, just over $50. It looks stacked, and I've seen pictures of the cards that can come in his cubes. And they're full of goodies. They really are. So, he included a few extra things in here, so I was going to show them off before we get to the cube. But we have a really cool Kyogre promo. Groudon promo. Some more Groudons. Uh, holographic and non-holographic. And a Lucario. That's really cool. And he also included all of these movie promos. Very, very nice. Um, he said that there's one of each. Uh, I think he was able to see which one, but I'm not going to mess with those. I'm going to actually keep them sealed. But thank you. Thank you so much for those uh, little extras. Let's go ahead and break into the main event. I love how he packaged these. It's, it's really special. I Actually, what am I doing? I love that he used these storage cubes uh, to package them. If I can figure out where the edges are. There we go. Okay. The tape, I was not realizing that my tape was... I was, yeah. Anyway, we're finally in the cube <laughs> after my stupidity. We're starting it off with a very cool primer, primal Kyogre full art. Okay. Let's just bring out all of these goodies. Very nice, safely packaged, which I love. And he's taking a lot of care in, in making these cubes. So let's start off that primal full art Kyogre. Very cool. Groudon from way back Team Aqua versus Team Magma. We have a Glalie, and a Bagon, a Corsola, a Giratina. Very nice. We have a Flareon, a Dratini. Ooh, that's a really cool one. Um, old Nine Tails, and a uh, Garchomp. Ah, uh, what is that? Not actually sure. Pokemon Breeder Trainer. I don't know. Um, Nitto King. A Butterfree. Altaria. Wow, I've never seen that holographic. That is very cool. And a uh, Stoutland. I think. Haunter. A Zoroark holographic. Pokemon Center Lady. An Empoleon. <laughs> very nice. We have a Victory Bell holographic. Doduo. An Electrode. Look at this Infernape. I love it. I just love it. That is beautiful. Masquerade. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Look at that Rayquaza. I love, love these old cards. I wish I could open more of those sets. A Jolteon. Oh, ho, ho. That is very cool. What is that? A vending series with that gloss on it? That's cool. This Jolteon is amazing. Okay, Meganium. A Keldeo. Look at this Charmander. That is amazing. Okay, um, that's a trainer card. A Heliodisc. A Cyndaquil. Cacnea, I think. And a Cresselia. <laughs> I love those older hollows. Those are so nice. Okay, we have a Piplup. Oh my god. Blaziken EX. This is so cool. Oh, a Pidgeot. That is a. I've never seen. I don't. You don't see that set symbol. I don't know. The Japanese sets have different symbols. That is so cool. I love Beedrill, and that is amazing. That, that artwork is so cool. Ditto. Wow. Agron. Very nice Agron Hollow. A Nidoking, Magikarp. 
I love these Magikarp arts from old sets. Wow. I don't actually know which one this is, but that is awesome. Level X. I can't remember the name of that one. Pokedex. Shellgon. A mischievous. Pikachu. That is one of the most adorable Pikachu arts that ever existed. A Luminion. Wait. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Squirtle. Shelter. Oh, that that energy thing. Oh, a Dusclops. That is very nice. I love. I just absolutely love these old hollows. I can. I will keep saying it because it's just true. Charmeleon. And <laughs> Yon Mega Prime. That is cool. That is super cool. Moltres. And Entei. Are you serious? That is one of the coolest scissor cards I have ever seen. Just look at that. <laughs> and we have a Mew. <laughs> and a uh, Palkia. Wow. That was really cool. And a Tyranitar. And a Metagross. Larvitar. This Absol looks amazing. Oh, that's so cool. And a Sableye. Oh. Growlithe. And a Pukamuku. And, wow, look at this Machamp Reverse. That's super cool. I'm loving it. This this cube is is truly, truly impressing me. It has a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> and look at that Gyarados. These Gyarados arts, I've been looking at them recently. Really impressive old arts. And hey, Rapidash. Zatu. Regirock EX. <laughs> that is super cool. I love these old, old EXs. And a Tyrogue. Cloyster. Wow. Holographic psychic energy. That's definitely going with like my Mewtwo's. That is super cool. Hypno. And a Baneri. And an Alakazam. A Carvana. Hitmon Top. Holographic. From Neo Discovery. And a Luxury Ball. I'm pretty sure. A Rhydon. No. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Glaceon. Mega Blastoise EX. CP6. Very cool. A Shellgon again. Claydol Holographic. Very nice. And a Golem. One of those fossils. A Cacturn. Can't remember which one's Cacturn and which one's Cacnea, so my bad. <laughs> Psyduck. Chespin, aww, and Oshawott, Shed Ninja, and an Omastar. <laughs> um, Weave Weavile, or is that Sneasel? I can't remember. <laughs> and a Lapras, Dragonair. Look at that Arceus. That is that is beautiful. They The English version of this card does not look anything close to this one. This one is spectacular. And Eradicate. Delphox Hollow. Master Ball. And a Hound Hour. Now I've gotta say these cubes, these cards in the cubes are in very good shape. Um, there were lots of good quality, good rarity in here. So I definitely recommend, if you're interested, going and checking his Instagram and eBay account. Um, I know for sure you can get them through his Instagram. If you're interested in trying one of these cubes, he has two different sizes. This one was the smaller size for $50. And there, I think maybe a little extra for shipping. So, 
The other one is going to be, I think, double this size, and it's just about a hundred. So I would, uh, just just showing these off to you, um, check out his Instagram if you're interested in trying out one of these cubes. I've seen pictures of what other people got, and I've been impressed, and I'm pretty happy with what I got here. Definitely with these old school EXs. So if you're interested in Japanese cubes, check out Kyoto Magic Carp. I wasn't, I was not disappointed. I'm, I'm very happy with what I got. So thank you again, man. That this is a treat after, after having so many dud cubes. It's nice to see one that definitely provides a lot of fun cards. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already. Check out Kyoto Magikarp. I'll see you guys next time.